dazzles and you look at talent and say, wow, I wish I could be like that. And yet you find that excellence is not about talent alone. In fact, a major, major part of excellence has nothing to do with talent. And in course of time, once you go beyond a certain level, ability or talent is the most useless virtue to possess. It's what you do with that talent that matters. And that's why he used a word, Mukherjee used a word that I love, attitude. Beyond a point, it is attitude that counts for far, 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 far more than talent. Because talent breeds an ego. And talent never solves problems beyond a point. And I was fascinated by something that Sandy Gordon said when we were doing a program together. Because I had seen a lot of young cricketers, extremely talented, who the moment they faced a roadblock did not know what to do. Because they had never had to struggle to succeed. They always used their talent to succeed. And Vinod Kamli is an example of that. The moment Courtney Walsh bounced him in Bombay, he was 22 years old. Was he? Yeah, he was 22 years old then. In 1994, he was 22 years old. Didn't know what to do. Did not play a test match after that. His last test match was when he was 22 years old. Just did not know how to play the bouncing ball because talent had solved everything for him before. In the Australian Army, when they are... And this is something that doesn't come from sport, but it's something a sports scientist told me. That when they're building an elite core team, they look at your career record, your track record. And if you've never failed, they don't pick you. They don't pick you because they say, if this man experiences failure, will he know what to do? They pick people who failed and bounced back. And that is where your attitude comes through. And, I mean, let's look at excellence. What is excellence about? It's about being in the top 10% in your profession. I mean, I know I'm talking to people who want to be in the top 1%, but there's a lot of ordinary people around us around. So let's say top 10%. Can talent take... Is talent important when you get to be in the top 10%? I mean, everybody in the top 10% will have the same talent, right? So what's your USP? It's what you do with the talent that counts. And unfortunately, in our sport, and I think in India as a nation, we are, we're dazzled by talent a great deal. I have found that beyond a certain, certain time, in sport, as indeed in broadcasting, that your work ethic and your attitude counts from far, far more than, uh, far, far more than talent. I mean, Tendulkar is a prime example. The moment you say Tendulkar, if I asked you to, if you had one of those things that talk show hosts do, I'll give you a word and you give me a connecting word in one word. You say Tendulkar, you'll say talent, right? He played 55 games as a 14-year-old without a break. 55 days. He'd practice for two hours, play a game, practice two hours, fall asleep on the dining table. And do that 55 days in a row. That's attitude. You know, we think... And this is something we talk about in our corporate lectures as well, where uh, we advise against talent. When Tendulkar was born, it wasn't that this nurse picked him up and said, here, Mrs. Tendulkar, here's 70 hundreds for you. <laughs> yeah? It isn't Tendulkar's talent that's produced 70 hundreds. It's his work ethic, it's his attitude, and more than anything else, when you reach the top, it's his passion to perform. And that counts for far more. The attitude and the passion counts for far, 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 far more than ability. Ability opens the first door. It might open the second door. It's not going to open the last door for you. Because the guy who's bowling the ball at you has got equal ability as you. He's not going to run up to bowl and say, Ooh, sorry, you're a genius. Sorry, I'll give you a simple ball. Which is what, which is what India's bowlers did in 1948 when they went to Australia. They were so much in awe that they said, We are going to bowl to Bradman. It was understandable in those days. India